Guys, welcome back to another pre-recorded podcast, and welcome back to another traveling pod. Man, I don't, honestly, guys, you guys are probably saying, dude, this guy has traveled to Singapore in April. He's tra- I'm sorry, not Singapore. He's traveled to Malaysia in April. He's already traveled to, of course, Singapore in May. He went to Lao just last June, and I just literally just came back from Malaysia about a week ago. And now I am heading to Hong Kong. Guys, honestly, this is a tough decision. You know what you need to do? You need to get all the semantics out there. So it came down. I literally had a discussion with my wonderful students just, uh, who are basically coming in within the next 40 minutes. And I'm like, guys, give me the advantage and dis- advantages and disadvantages for every country. So I was asking one of these students who's a, a, an, an amazing graphic designer. He, like, draws art on computer and, like, 3D animation. Insane. And he's like, you know, Sri Lanka, and then he brought up a blog talking about, oh, there's a lot of things that have happened to people in the past. And I'm like, okay, well, that's what happened to them. What about me? You know what I mean? Like, would it be enjoyable? He's like, well, let's look at the airlines. So that's what you have to do. Number one, when you're booking, always look at the airlines, okay, because I'm so sick and tired of flying Air Asia. I don't give a damn how low cost it is. I'm done with low cost because guess what? Probably with it, by the end of this year, I'm never going to have to worry about money again. And no, I'm not going to be flying first class and business class. I just want to fly with reputable air mice because airlines, because you just saw what just happened, apparently. My students brought it up today. He said, hey, did you hear what happened with Ryanair in Europe? I said, well, no, what happened? He said, well, they dropped 28,000 feet in five minutes and people were bleeding out their ears and noses. I said, oh, well, how wonderful. Well, that's why I don't fly these low-cost ass airlines because people just seemingly and pilots seemingly do not give a fuck. All right, excuse my French. So guys, hey, you know what? If you're all low-cost and you're a backpacker, hey, by all means, best of luck to you. That's all good. But I'm just saying for my own personal well-being, I'm sick of delays. I'm sick of one hour to three hour delays. That's unacceptable. That's not even perfect. Oh my God, I sounded British. Uh, that, uh, it, uh, anyways, guys, it's not even professional. And they don't even give us a, a, a legitimate reason to, oh, well, well you know, uh, things happen. No, motherfucker. You're literally flying next door two hours to Bangkok. How difficult could it be? Oh, well, uh, uh, I don't want to hear, uh, 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 fuck your CEO, fuck everybody, fuck this. I'm not flying this anymore. I'm done. I just can't do it. I cannot do it anymore. So, oh my God, that was a rant. So here we go, <laughs> going into the next one. Um, what basically happened and culminated was um, he was like, well, Sri Lanka, you could go Sri Lankan Airlines. And then I was like, okay, how about visas? That's the next thing you need to check. Number two, always check for visas before going to a country. I've literally suffered so many times when this happened to me. Uh, apparently there are long ways at Sri Lanka. I said, forget it, forget it. I'm done. And so, you know what? I need to put in Macau, as a matter of fact, because I'm actually going to be going to Macau on a day trip. Uh, apparently they have a lot of Portuguese architecture because they were, of course, colonized by the Portuguese and Hong Kong by the British. So we got some interesting things happening very soon. Anyways, let's focus on the topic. Um... I was like, Taiwan. I looked up the airlines. It was China Airlines, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm good. Because you just heard about the Chinese flight that just happened within the last 24 hours. What happened? Oh, somebody, uh, one of the captains tried, well, the pilot tried smoking in the cockpit. It's ridiculous, okay? Okay, yeah, that was Air China, but still. You know what I mean? I ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> I ain't got time for it. You feel me? Anyways, um... And so Taiwan, it was literally Air Asia again. And I'm like, I know if I go Air Asia to Taiwan, it's going to be a full on fight because you have no idea the people who actually go to Donbug. It's like 75 percent Chinese. And I mean, it just seems like there's a fire. OK, no offense to the Chinese people. OK, you guys get it. Hey, black people, we loud, too. OK, you, you put a whole you put a bunch of black people into a restaurant. We loud. OK, we like to have a good time. But Chinese people, they're like, Whoa! I'm like, oh, my God, what's happening? So, no, I will not fly Air China or China Airlines or an Air Asia flight to Taiwan because I know I'm going to experience a lot of problems and it's going to be a very, very difficult three hours on an airplane. That's it, okay? And it's not safe going, you know, flying over the ocean with Air Asia. You already, no, no, no. Anyways, so let's focus on some more. And I said, okay, it's going to come down to the Philippines and it's going to come down to Hong Kong. Did the research. Okay, Philippine Airlines, I could fly Thai Airways for 400 U.S. dollars, stay in a hotel right in the city, the center of the city. But then I said, what can I actually do 
in the Philippines? Do they have hiking trails? Do they have things I could see? Do they have little, you know, little excursions or a little city bus? Hell no. Nah. Philippines is practically a Bangkok, but much, much more run down. No offense to my folks out there, Manila. I know I love you guys, but I'm just trying to call it how I see it, you know? So anyways, yeah, I don't think I would enjoy the Philippines. It would be another Thailand. That's all. No offense, you know? I said, okay, what about Hong Kong? And so I checked it out. Okay, Cafe Pacific, okay, $300. Okay, after that, I said, okay, hotel, this. Okay, that. Okay, all right, do I need a visa? No. Do I need a visa for the Philippines? No. But I actually did everything, and my student said, man, you should probably go to Hong Kong. You could go to Macau and take a ferry. I said, two countries? He said, yeah. I said, oh, done. So I actually booked the SIM card and everything, which is unbelievable because that's how efficient Hong Kong is. Before I land, literally, I'm sorry, not before I land, but I'm booking everything right now. My ferry ticket, I got my train ticket, I got my SIM card. So literally when I land, I'm going to go to, I think it's Terminal 1, Counter something. I forgot what it was. I already put it into my phone. And I'm literally going to pick up my SIM card, just like that. Take it out, put it in, get get acquainted with the world again, although I might have Wi-Fi on my flight and whatnot because it's Cathay Pacific. You know what I mean, guys? I just like... Okay, Air Asia, if it's next door, okay, don't pay so much. But now, man, I'm just so over it. Air Asia and these low cost airlines are a little bit north at this airport that's not connected with tr- uh, the public transportation system whatsoever. So I always have to take the bus. And honestly, I just, I'm so sick of that airport. I just cannot do it. I love the main airport here called Suwanapum. It's much more open. You see all the big airlines and the, the check in is wonderful, all these different things. I can just know I can't do this Air Asia over and over and over. It's going to just make me lose my mind. You should go to the terminal. Go to the departure and the arrival halls there, man. It's absurd. Oh, my God. You can't sit anywhere. There are people, the feet everywhere in the air. There are people screaming. The grounds are dirty. And then you got these racist-ass immigration offices. I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, No, thank you. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to do all that. So, you know... This is what it comes down to, guys. If you want to fly a cheap air car, that's cool, man. That's a completely cool, especially if you're on a budget. Hey, that's do your thing. But me, I'm no longer on a budget, and I'm not going to envision myself being on a budget because that's what I did two years ago. I told myself, I said, you know what? I have more than enough money to take this airline. All right, example. If I go to, what is it, Australia in November, which is like probably 80% on, Okay, when I go to Australia, what's going to happen? Hmm, okay, so what airlines do we have? Oh, we have China Southern Airlines. That's about $350 round trip. Ooh, that's really, really cheap. You should do that. No. No, because I know those eight to nine hours and the possible delays and the possible problems on the plane and the people with feet and, oh, no, no. I'm not going to Guangzhou first, Okay. So I keep scrolling. Okay, there's Qantas. Ooh, there's an A380. I've never been on Qantas. That's actually on my 101 goals list. Ooh. Then there's Singapore Airlines. Okay, there are two airlines that I'm possibly going to take now. Emirates and Qantas, though, they will stop in Sydney rather than going straight into Melbourne. Or I could take Singapore Airlines and I could stop into Singapore, the best airport on the planet, and then shoot straight over. Or I could just take a direct Thai Airways flight for probably an extra $50. So there you go. You know what I mean? Eight to nine hours on a safe airplane for an extra $400, book me. So, guys, I can't believe I'm going to Hong Kong. Guys, I would have never imagined in a million years. This is why I'm just so grateful at this particular moment and juncture in my life. Because I would have never thought in a million years I would have been flying to Hong Kong. You know what I mean? Like, when I get my SIM card and I start making these videos, my mom is going to be like, I can't believe you're in Hong Kong. People are going to be looking like, my brother's in Hong Kong right now. Hey, where's your brother? You know, you're living in the, you know, the ugly, ugly ass area in, you know, Las Vegas. And, you know, you got all these thugs around there. And the thugs say, hey, man, hey, I haven't heard from your brother. Where is he? My brother's in Hong Kong. What? Where's that? You know what I mean? This is the beauty. I mean, no no offense to anything. I'm just trying to crack jokes. I'm just trying to put everything in perspective. I lived around a bunch of niggas, so don't even try telling me, okay? I'm trying to to clean this up, but I have to call it how I see it. Those people, I almost had to fight with, and they almost robbed us like three times, okay? So uh, don't even get me started on that. It's a day to be gloriously grateful for having the opportunity to travel on Cathay Pacific, get the SIM card, do this, do that, being able to go to Macau, too. (sighs) 
I just can't be any more grateful. And I stuck through this, through all the crazy times. I stuck through it. So I just wanted to give you guys a nice little uh, podcast in terms of my next trip, which will be coming up in three weeks. Stay tuned for a lot of videos, a lot of blogs. And yes, I'm going to try to make up uh, some kind of uh, video or something that I could put on my YouTube in terms of Hong Kong. So guys, stay tuned for all that. And as always, this is your host, Arsenio, as usual, over and out.